Everybody, everybody, I give to you the king of damage, Calervo. The w And before we get started, this video isn't going to be like all the other streamers that show you big numbers and they're like, wow, this is the best Warframe. No, we're going to keep it simple. The best numbers. Big numbers. 2.1 big boys. B billion. That's what we're looking for. Let's get to it. Now that I have your attention, for this video I'm going to be using the hate, because I love it. I love to hate it. For the hate, which I love, I'm using Melee Crescendo. On finisher kill, gain 5 initial combo for the rest of your mission. And that's not just per kill, that's every kill. And that stacks up to 12 times, giving you a permanent 12 times. Personal preference, Melee Exposure is the best. But these are the mods that I have on my hate. Stacking Corrosive, which is going to give you the best overall result. And if you're a Calervo fan like I am, I'm always trying everything. So you can agree or disagree, but it's always worth to try something once, or twice, maybe three times. This is going to be my mod selection for Calervo. I'm using Arcane Energize, because 150 energy is always nice. Uh, gain 0.3 maximum energy per armor point up to 1,000 energy. As you can see, I'm not using any source of flow giving me energy. The armor is giving me energy. Having almost 700 energy, that is more than enough. Arcane Energize is just going to keep feeding me energy. It's a very sustainable system. Gone through rigorous testing. Rigorously. Collective Curse is going to play a major role, having 100% damage redirection with 47.5 meter range. The whole key to this puzzle, Wrathful Advance, 400% melee critical chance, Recompense, 20,000 Overguard, you're almost invincible. Another major key to this puzzle is going to be Tempest Barrage. Using Viral Tempest, it's going to proc both Corrosive and Viral, which is going to be huge, which you will see later on. The secondary primer of my choice is going to be the Epitaph Prime because it has a 14 meter range for its explosions and it shoots multiple. Viral increases damage to health up to 325% with multiple stacks for a short duration. So with more stacks, with Viral Tempest and your Epitaph, you're going to guarantee to get max stacks quick. Gotta get yourself three, the Violet Tau 4 Zarkon Shards, 37% melee critical damage. When your energy is over 500, you get double. Two Tau Forge Emerald Archon Shards, that's going to give you plus 6 Corrosive on top of the standard 10. 10 is 80% armor strip, 16 is going to be a full 100%. And that's what you need. To acquire Tempest Barrage, head down to your local helmet and subsume that Hydroid you're not using. Because <laughs> Tempest Barrage is going to be pretty amazing on Clairvo, especially when you're, when you're priming. And so what we're going to be using to, to help the primer prime the primer is this Wet and Wild Tempest Barrage. Viral Tempest. Like I said, major key in this puzzle. 100% chance of inflicting viral status, and that's going to afflict alongside with corrosive at the same time. Now, what I'm going to be using for the operator is the Vazirin class, or Vazirion. Vazirion. So, go over to your focus icon, click on Vazirion, and what you're going to get in there is something called Void Snare. And what Void Snare is going to get you is a big black hole. And on your operator, your number two ability, that's going to make that black hole last for about eight seconds, making enemies trapped inside of it vulnerable to finishing attacks. Like I said, on melee crescendo, you have to get finishing attacks in order to accumulate that permanent 12 times, which does take uh, about 30 to 40 seconds to accumulate. Granted that your teammates aren't stealing your kills, like in this game, I kind of had to wander off on my own for about 30 seconds, find a good group, group them up, do some finishers, and then I got that 12 times. A good way to test it is to do a heavy attack. If the heavy attack sucks down to a certain number and stays there, it means you did it wrong. So suck in a couple more into the vortex and then get to that 12 times. 
bottom right hand corner where it says 12 times 220. That's what you want to see all the time. So when you do your heavy attack and it's at that 12 times, you know you're ready to go. You're ready to hit that 2.1 billion. Also keep in mind is that when you die, you go back down to zero and you have to accumulate that all over again. No big deal, but it is kind of a pain. So just keep up on that number two ability using recompense. Get that overguard as high as you can. So I got my 12 time permanent combo count. Took me two and a half minutes in my mission. Because like I said, they were stealing my kills. And I had 28% damage. It's time to turn that around. Now everybody, ready to start the primage. Using the Epitaph and Viral Tempest, you're going to cast them, and you're going to spam them, actually. And you're just going to let them simmer in it for about half a second. So when you're spamming them both, you're going you're gonna to ensure that those stacks stack up faster. So when the Corrosive hits 16 stacks, you're getting 100% armor strip. And then when the Viral hits 10 stacks, you're getting 325% damage to health. When all that's said and done, two put one bill for everybody. And that's considering that you've gone through all the motions right. Priming, collective curse, letting them simmer a little bit, and then wrathful advance. And then you should see two put one billion more often than not. As a veteran Calervo player, I've been playing him for almost a year now, and I've subsumed almost every ability on just to kind of test and play around with and viral tempest seems to proc 2.1 bill more than anything i've seen more than the the famous nourish which nourish is good but this one is a wet dream and if you like big numbers like me and my best friend the demon prince who i'm going to give a shout out to for staying by my side and vigorously and rigorously testing out all these subsumed abilities and mods and percentages and archon shards and arcanes and flip and flopping them around to figure out the best output overall you know you guys are going to love it just as much as we do i'm calling this build the wet dream King of damage from Flairbo. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys like the video, share it with your friends, and maybe you can make something better than what we have off of this template and do 2.1 bills all over. Be a hero to you and your squad. One shot them acolytes like so and have a have a fun time. Because once you start hitting those 2.1 billions. You, it's it's nonstop fun from there. You just always want to improve, and you can do it with almost any weapon. It's not just the hate. This was just a, a fun test using the hate incarnate. I mean, I, I've even done it with a level zero Tenet Grigori and hit 2.1 billion. Not once, but several times with two mods on it, like a Morg uh, Amalgam Organ Shatter and Gladiator Might. And the Demon Prince has tested that alongside with me. The Demon Prince has actually figured out that the Siam is the best one to hit 2.1 billion when you have a high corrosive build. And then at the end of my mission, my 20 minute mission, Calervo with 82% damage deal against two Serens that used to be the queen of damage and a Korra. And to two Calervo's horn here, I'm gonna say that he is the overall best Warframe in the game. I said it. Like I said, king of damage. Not only the king of damage, but everything. I would say the overall average. Because he's got survivability with overguard. You can cast recompense at any time to give you more overguard. Although he doesn't have a shield, a shield you have to wait to generate. Overguard, you could just rebuild that any instance that, that you go into with enemies. You just cast recompense, build it up. AoE, you know, he's got this chaining ability, the, the collective curse. And when you do wrathful advance on that, 2.1 billion just about anywhere, the potential of it. And, you know, armor, energy, he's, he's got it all if you set him up right. 
So I've seen a lot of people rate him in D tier and as high as S tier, which I can agree with S tier, but I would say he is S plus plus tier. Yep. And the Demon Prince and I have been doing some tests with other Warframes that are considered as D tier or one of the lowest tiers that they rate them. And the Demon Prince has been hitting 2.1 billion with D tier Warframes and have a really good survivability because people are building them wrong. So the Demon Prince and I kind of diagnose a lot of these Warframes. He more than I. I'm more of just a Calervo nut. But maybe in the future we'll make some more videos explaining how these other Warframes are just amazing. Like Mag, I've hit 2.1 bill with the Tenet Grigori with Mag. I also had Wrathful Advance because it's Calervo's ability and it's freaking awesome. you got to use it, especially when you're using a melee weapon. But 2.1 bill with Mag. I've did it. I've done it. I've done it. But the wet dream, it's for you all. It's a gift from the Demon Prince and I Metal Gear to all of you. The only one of its kind. Maybe. If you find another video, post it in the comments. And then I'll reiterate that I am not the only one with it, or the first one. But I could say that we have perfected it. I can say that. I will say that. I've done it. I've done it. It's done. But I'll see all you other Warframers on the battlefield. Good night.